Uh, welcome to Guido. Look forward to hearing you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Um, my name is uh, Guido Groth with uh, LuxXL, and we 3D print prescription lenses. And I'm here today to explain you why that is important for better smart glasses and um, why this is relevant for um, anybody who uh, wants to make um, a prescription smart or smart glasses in general. So I'll start off by explaining a little bit about our technology, and then I'll move into um, into why this is relevant for you and what kind of things we can actually do with 3D printing, which are unique to smart glasses. So first of all, LuxXL is the only company in the world that can actually 3D print lenses. And we use that to 3D print prescription lenses. And prescription lenses, as you know, are essential for anybody wearing glasses. That's the reason we wear these glasses. And um, uh, I'll show you all later on why 3D printed lenses are essential for to make better um, smart glasses. So we are the only one in the world, the only company in the world able to 3D print lenses and we have technology to um, a number of companies. And uh, they like our technology because it's so precise and it's fast and um, it doesn't need all the processing steps that traditional lens making requires. 3D printing is unique in that it can actually make the, your design, um, when you need it, where you need it, and in a lot more different ways than traditional technology allows you. So let me show you first, what, how does 3D printing of a lens work? So we start off from a bottle of ink. So traditional lens making starts off by uh, having huge furnaces, injection molding setups, and all kinds of different um, factories to make a lens. What we do is we just take a bottle. And in that bottle, we have our ink, and we call it an ink because we put it in our printer. And our printer, what it does, it generates tiny little droplets, and it generates a lot of them in parallel. And we use it to position those droplets exactly where they're required. And um, we are uh, precise because we use very, very small droplets. We're fast because we apply many droplets at the same time. And we are so smooth because, well, droplets by themselves are very smooth. We cure these droplets in place and we make sure that it turns into one complete um, lens, which is ready to be used. So the shape is ready once it comes out of the printer. So our material, our process delivers actually a transparent material without any need for polishing and in an ophthalmic quality. So I have a couple of videos that show you how this works. So the first one. You see, this is a, an animation from within our printer. So you see the stage of the printer moving underneath the print heads. Droplets are applied, and all these droplets together form a layer. And so there's a it goes in for the next time for the next layer. You see the flash, which is the curing. These are the print heads, where you see the thousands of small droplets being applied at the same time. Our technology makes sure these droplets merge together to create one uh, homogeneous shape, fully transparent. And because we build this from these droplets, we have all the freedom you need to make a lens. And our material is a great optical quality material, um, comparable or even better in some cases than traditional lens materials. The process requires no polishing and um, it, the lens is ready to be used um, after it's printed. So while this, print, this movie runs, I'm actually just gonna show you a movie in parallel on the right window where you can actually see the actual printing happening within the printer. So we have accelerated this a little bit to, uh, to, to, to make it go a little bit faster. And it's amazing to see how you get, you grow a lens from nothing. So there's no uh, semi-finished lens, there's no grinding, no dirty work, no polishing. The lens is printed here, droplet by droplet, layer by layer. And you see how smooth and transparent the material is. It's really amazing. I can look at this stuff uh, <laughs> for hours. <laughs> On our website, actually, you can see a number of different um, a number of different lenses we print if you want to get more of this, uh, this feedback. For now, I'll leave it at this. Just believe me, we can print all kinds of lenses. On our website, you can see more pictures. So let me move on here. So now that you've seen how a 3D printed lens is printed and how it's made, um, let's talk about why do you want a 3D printed lens. 
And the first reason is, and I mentioned this before, it's efficiency. So to make a traditional lens requires a huge supply chain all over the world. It requires a lot of shipping and a lot of parts being moved around. It requires grinding machines, polishing machines, and many process steps. With our technology, you can actually have, you have one machine that from a liquid makes these lenses. So it's very efficient, very, very quick, and you can make the lenses when you need them instead of having to wait for a um, long time. 3D printing typically, what it also enables is customization of products. So you can have many, many more different shapes of lenses than you would have in, with, the traditional, um, with traditional technology. Because let's remember, traditional technology has been around for hundreds of years. And in that period of time, they really tuned the, pro the process. Traditional technology make great lenses at good cost. The only downside is that there is no flexibility. So you can have a front side of your lens and a back side, and that's it. With 3D printing, you have so much more flexibility. You can do many more things than you can do with traditional uh, designs, the traditional technology. And it's really the way of the future. 3D printing, of course, as we all know, has changed many industries. And the whole lens making is simply the next industry that's going to be uh, revolutionized by, uh, by this technology. So it's very clean. So we only print what you need. So there's no waste where traditional technology, um, you know, they throw away most of the, the plastic of the, or of the lens because it's grinded and polished away. And finally, the key reason why we're here is 3D printing enables you to make prescription lenses for smart lens applications in a unique way. And it's something 3D printing can do that no other technology can do. And that's what we're gonna show you next. So um, let's talk about this convergence of healthcare and smart. We all know the world population today, 7 billion people, is growing to 8.5 billion by 2030. That's a lot of people. And all of those people love their smartphones, and the use of smartphones and smart devices in general is going to grow significantly. At the same time, let's talk about the whole eye care, the whole vision correction uh, aspect of things. That's another trend we all know, but never really realize. Is 60% of the world population requires vision correction. That number is even going to go up to 80% by 2030. So 80% of people will need to use some sort of vision correction. And that can be, of course, contact lenses or LASIK, but the vast, vast majority of people need use spectacle lenses to correct their vision. So on the one hand, you have a growing population. On the other hand, you have the number of people who require vision correction is going to go up. So the expectation is by 2030, 7 billion people will need vision correction. So these two trends merge together. People get want more smart devices, preferably smart glasses. I don't have to explain that to this audience. Well, at the same time, people need vision correction. So this whole health and tech convergence is happening. And what we see is that if you want to make smart glasses, you need to address prescription. There's no way you can make smart glasses without having a good solution for prescription lenses. And that is where 3D print technology can play a huge role. So how? Well, let's look at um, existing smart glasses. Sometimes they get developed without thinking of prescription, and sometimes they try to move around the prescription side of the business. So they try to make people wear their glasses underneath their, uh, their smart goggles, where if what you really want to do is you want to think of prescription from the start, and you want to make sure that you address prescription to make sure that you end up with a device that actually looks like a normal pair of glasses. So with 3D print technology, you can actually integrate smart technology into glasses that look like normal glasses. So I think I cannot emphasize this enough. You need prescription and you wanna make your glasses look normal if you wanna address a large market. And 3D printing allows you to do exactly that. So it's not anymore wearing a huge helmet over your normal glasses or not having a solution for your vision correction. 3D printing allows you to make um, glasses that look normal but integrate smart technology. So how do we do that? Well, I mentioned before, we build our lenses with tiny little droplets. And you can imagine that we can deposit these droplets onto a flat surface, but we can also deposit them on top of electronics, on top of your device. And so that's exactly what we do. We print the front side of the lens on top of your device, we flip it around and we print uh, again on the back side of the device so that you have 
um, optical power on the front, optical power of the back of your waveguide, for example. And uh, what we do this way is we encapsulate your device, protecting it, while at the same time add prescription to the smart glasses. So this is an example of um, some smart glasses we printed recently. These actually have a front side, as you can tell, a back side uh, with a prescription in it. And in the middle, there sits an active layer. In this case, it's an electrochromic film that uh, changes um, the same way sunglasses do, the same way photochromics do, but immediately and on command. So in the middle here, we've put an active filter, which is encapsulated by the prescription lens. This way you can make all kinds of uh, exciting devices. You can make all kinds of, you can integrate all kinds of things into the lens. And uh, this is something we do today. So we have customers for whom we have developed this technology and who are going to release products with this in the, in the coming time. And at the same time, we also make electrochromic glasses on a daily basis. So here's a little animation of the things you can actually put into glasses. So we print the front side, we put your device in the middle, and we add the back side of the lens. There's all kinds of stuff you can integrate, like waveguides, holographic films for reflection of, uh, of the image, or LCD screens, or any kind of other device you want to integrate into the lens. So we print on both sides, we integrate the whole the one set of glasses, one lens, and that whole lens can be put into a frame like any other device, like any other normal lens would. So we create a lens with smart technology in there that you cannot tell the difference between this lens and traditional lens. It might be a little bit thicker because of the device, but otherwise it's an exactly like a normal lens with the prescription on the front and the back. So what are these things that we can integrate? Well, we've integrated LCD displays, transparent and non-transparent, where if you want to make a uh, non-transparent display, when you use a non-transparent display, you probably want to put it on the side, but um, a transparent display can pretty much go anywhere in the lens. We can integrate waveguides, and uh, you can just print on the waveguides on both sides. We can also add projection surfaces on the side where you can project instead of projecting from the temples of the, of the spectacle lens, you can actually project from the side of the lens into the lens and get the, the, the information to the user that way. We can also, like I mentioned earlier, add active or passive films, like the electrochromic films we are delivering now to customers. And those also have an application in smart eyewear, because what you can do is, in case there is a lot of daylight out there, you can actually dim the light inside the glasses electrically by using our electrochromic technology. So all of these things are things we have done and are doing currently for customers. Um, there might be other things we want to integrate or you want to integrate that we haven't thought of and we're open for discussions with uh, to see if that's possible. Um, at the end of the day, our goal is to make prescription lenses with integrated smart devices and turn them into glasses that look normal. So, in summary, we have developed materials, hardware, software, process, everything required to 3D print lenses. And we're doing that every day. Our customers are doing that every day. We have machines installed in the US and in Europe doing this. And um, people are wearing our glasses every day of the week. So we do this in volume manufacturing. So these customers of ours, they get prescription lenses um, uh, in the same way they would create normal lenses, except it's a lot easier. Our lenses are, of course, uh, certified for ophthalmic quality, FDA certified, NC ISO, uh, all the requirements needed be able to uh, sell prescription lenses. We are able to integrate all kinds of smarts into our lenses. And um, we have developed the only solution to 3D print lenses, add prescription to those lenses, and integrate smart technology. Um, it's a proven technology. So this is not something of the future. We're doing this every day. So this is here today. So what I hope you'll remember from my talk here is a couple of things, four things to be, uh, to be clear. So one is um, you need prescription if you're gonna make smart eyewear. No doubt about it, you need prescription, you need to address prescription from the start of your project. Secondly, 3D printing can integrate your device into prescription lens. Third point, you can make your lenses, your smart device look like normal glasses thanks to 3D printing. And fourthly, this technology is here today to be used to deliver your product, to make a better product um, for your customers. I hope this was clear. Um, thank you for your attention, and I'm uh, open for questions at this stage. 
Hi, Guido. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, really interesting presentation. I think it's uh, something that all of us in the hardware space uh, have, you know, struggled with and tried to uh, understand how to solve, you know, when you're talking about uh, whether it's consumer or whether it's enterprise, but particularly in the enterprise space, you know, being able to, um, you know, meet the needs of, of every worker. Um, so there's a couple uh, technical questions that came up and we only have a few minutes for questions, so I apologize. One is really technical and I'm uh, just interested in your response. Uh, it talks about what about modulating the refractive, uh, refractive index as you print the lens on top of modulating its surface profile um, just to give a, a new degree of um, uh, freedom in optical design. Um, assuming maybe with printing, you can do these things uh, where other fab techniques, maybe you could not. Yes, that is correct. And it's, of course, the dream of every optical designer to have an additional degree of freedom where in traditional lenses, as everybody knows, you can, you can change the power by changing the shape, the curvature of the lens. There's an additional degree of freedom, which is the refractive index, which has always been a constant in traditional lens making. But 3D printing, you can actually use different materials and change the refractive index across the lens. And you can actually make flat lenses that have a curve, um, an optical power that uh, a curved lens normally has. So with our technology, you can indeed do that. And we actually have that on our roadmap. We're developing that. One of the challenges is, of course, that um, since nobody has ever done that, there's uh, very little software that actually helps you design those lenses. So that's something that, that we're working on. So we're working on the software side, we're working on the printing side, but that's absolutely something that uh, we will be able to deliver in the future. Yeah, and I, uh, I think one of the other questions is, you know, some of the uh, challenge in providing prescription lenses at scale, let's say, you know, whether it's warehouse workers or industrial workers, um, is, is kind of the traditional cost of, you know, investing in a prescription lens. Um, how much does, you know, 3D printing technology, um, you know, reduce the cost compared to what a typical um, prescription lens might cost an employee? Well, today, the cost, the cost of a 3D printed lenses is, is about the same as normal lenses except that with 3D printing, you have more variation. So we can make the lenses that traditional technology cannot make. And so we do not try to be a cost play at this stage. I mean, remember the eyewear industry has been practicing for hundreds of years and they've reached sure. this level where they are now. And that's basically their end stage. And for us, that's the starting stage. So we're already at the same level where they ended up after 400 years of practice. <laughs> so <laughs> now it's up to us. We'll take it from here. And we can actually make the things that they cannot because basically what the traditional IRA industry has done is they have taken a mass production, a mass volume process and tried to customize it to the individual. Well, we have a process that starts off with the ability to customize to the individual need and we're scaling up to volume. And the higher the volume we make, the cheaper it gets. Sure. Well, thank you. I know that uh, personally, from my own company's perspective, we'll be reaching out to you shortly. <laughs> and I'm sure uh, others will as well. <laughs> <Love with you. laughs> and there's, a, there's, there's a handful of more questions, but I know someone uh, posted uh, a, a way to reach out to you directly. So thank you so much for your time. And uh, it, was, uh, it, was a, it was a great presentation. It's really interesting technology. I appreciate it. Great. Thanks for your time. Thanks very much. Right. Take care.